Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Lettuce Tomato, and today we'll have something a little bit different for everyone. And Mike, tell us what we're, what we're doing today. Okay, so we're playing a game called Into the Depths. It's uh, kind of like a deep sea diving game. It looks kind of post-apocalyptic right there. Yeah, you can see on the left side, you know, you can see that yellow car, and like that truck is like all underground. So maybe it's like a, you know. Like a modern day Atlantis kind of thing. Yeah, so... So it's an explorer game. We're going to try to give you a first look and tell you if it's uh, worth playing or not. Yeah. And this is an Apple Arcade exclusive, so you have to have Apple Arcade to play it. So here we go. We'll play on standard. You know, we don't want to dive oh, right into expert. Yeah, you don't want to go too crazy. So the red symbol will appear when you touch the left side of the screen. Touch and drag to move. So it's like an analog stick. So you can see this is the start of the game. And we start off with our old base frozen over already. Yeah. Was... Oh, the ice is encroaching on us too. I, I'm trying. <laughs> so the blue symbol will appear when you touch the right side of the screen. Flick upward while on solid footing to jump. Okay. So we flick upward to jump. Oh, I guess we're trying to outrun this, um, the encroaching ice right now. Yeah, and it looks like you're falling out of control right mm -hmm. now. Mm-hmm. So hold the red while the ground and use your suit through thr thrusters. Drag upward to move freely through the water. Be careful as thrusters consume the squiggly. That squiggly thing, I'm assuming that's energy. Yeah, I would think so. Um, oh, and we made a little bit of a tough landing over here. 
And we see all our energy is gone. Uh-oh. Okay, so our suit can't go too much deeper. This will damage us, so we gotta find and see if we could jump. Oh, we made it! Yes. And we found something on the ground here. So we'll pick it up and increase our maximum energy capacity. And these will take damage in place of your suit, so take much longer to break. Okay, so it's like a shield kind of. Yeah. So far, this seems like a pretty cool dungeon diving kind of game. Yeah, kind of like an underwater dungeon. We picked up a giant jug of something. <laughs> because use use this item, which is like a squiggly thing, to replenish the other squiggly thing. Oh, okay. And then you could craft more green squiggly things and a round non-squiggly thing. Go to the item tab in the game menu to craft or use squigglies. Oh, left side over there was. All right. Well, let's see. Menu items, and you can see we can craft the, the the squiggly things that could be used to boost our other squiggly thing. Yep. Oh, there's the menus. You can touch the bag on the bottom right and drag to your selection. And like just like that, you tap and then you drag your uh, hold it and drag it to over the item you want to use and you just use it. So we could aim towards the wall or slope and then it will hold the uh, climb. It will also deplete my climb, so we can't do it a lot. So this game seems like a good balance of like you know resource management and staying alive and exploration. The survival tactics to try to it looks like escape that ice. It says your suit will gradually freeze over while in contact with ice. So when your suit is completely covered, it will take damage. Sliding on ice will break your frost off your suit, so we want to try sliding. I'm not sure how. So if you take damage, your suit will have the green energy thingy. It will begin to crack, and we don't want to take too much damage on our suit. So let's let's not walk on ice. Let's see. We use our thrusters. So the controls gets a little get takes a little bit getting used to because you know you're underwater so it's like not you know it's not supposed to be responsive controls it's like a lot of other games. Right. Just imagine swimming so it's you get just some kind of control but you're basically just at the mercy of the water. Yeah. So oh, we want we want to jump that gap over there. So we want to tap the blue symbol to swing your graph and attack. So you just want to tap on the right side of the screen to attack. And we just attack that that crab thingy. It's like a uh, what are these like shell crabs? No, it's like a kind of like a not really a crab, but like a shell kind of thing. Oh, I have a uh, something around me. I wonder what that is. It was like a air, little air bubble yeah. there. Yeah, like the jellyfish uh, spray out some kind of poison or something? It's sprayed out some kind of gas. Mm -hmm. you got new... Oh, jellyfish. Yeah. And so we discovered a buried object by shining a lamp on it. So touch the flashlight and then switch to your lamp on and off like that oh you see on the right side oh we got an achievement for discovering something with our lamp nice. and we hold it to mine awesome what do we get? so we just collected some uh, stuff not really sure what that symbol is 
and we can use it to make ammo for our weapon or use it to craft weaponary weapons in our uh, weapons tab. Well, let's see. Um, I think we just crafted ammo right here. So drag the left side to enter firing mode. Release to uh, fire and then drag back to initiate a location without so it's like kind of like a slingshot kind of thing. Oh no, we just aim. Yeah, we just aim in the direction we want. If we want to cancel, we just move it back to the, you know, neutral spot. All right, so let's. I want to get down and shoot those probably. It's so fun. It doesn't seem like we could flow and shoot at the same time, so we have to shoot them before we go up. Oh, there's something else on the ground here. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's like another tube of energy. So these are save points, uh, little floaty buoys. Uh, you know, kind of like a. Uh, a lot of games don't do save points these days, but I guess this one still does it. Yeah, there must be some danger, like any kind of checkpoint. Kind of points out a boss battle or something like that. You can see right here, there's a... Uh, seems to be a hidden thing, so we can turn on the flashlight. Oh, I guess we didn't need the flash, so we just start mining it. So I'm guessing once we saw that glowing in the corner, we just detect some later. Mm hmm. We'll just make some more ammo there, just in case we need it. And we'll continue on with our journey. Whoa, maybe there's some hidden stuff over there we want to check out. I wonder if we can melee these. Oh, we can. Instead of wasting ammo. Looks like so we got another health thing. Or shield. Oh, stay away from the ice. And you're going to see on the top right there, there's like a mini map. So, you know, in case you get lost in your exploration. It is a very common soundtrack. Um. Oh, what is happening? Like... It looks like he found something. He's trying to get in before all the ice collapses on him. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's how they do level transitions right there. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And we got another health thing. Let's see what's going on. So we'll see what uh, I don't think there's a way to open it yet. Is there? Oh, you, you see the the orange trail right there. Yeah. So it might lead to where the actual power supply is, right here. have here looks like a new suit hmm. is it Maybe a new suit and a new weapon? oh that would be cool you know that's the best thing about dungeon divers these days you know you get new equipment and then you get stronger
Oh, this is like blueprint. So this one looks like a a weapon of some sort. Hmm. We drop it down. Is it some sort of scale? Or some way to... I don't know, try to help you in... Yeah, I'm not sure. Like some kind of pad or something. Oh, okay, so now we can use minerals to upgrade our suit to uh, do different things. So probably like ice resistance or higher jump and stuff like that. Right. Um, let's check out that menu. Upgrades. Um, okay, so you see on the bottom there what it does, increase maximum number of the green things you can use, reduces energy consumption. Increase resistance to ice and other damage surfaces. Increase climbing speed. I feel like that would be pretty helpful. Yeah. Speed. It's gonna be, especially if you're trying to get away. So how do we upgrade? That must be pretty fancy. Maybe we don't have the materials yet. This is 15 out of 0. Does that mean I have 15 out of 0 needed, or do I have 0 out of 15 needed? I think it's 0 out of 15 needed. Yeah, because I don't see any way of uh, upda uh, upgrading. Yeah, nothing uh, allows me to upgrade yet, so maybe I just don't have the items. Okay, I guess we'll... I guess we'll, we'll figure out once we go over there. Oh no! Oh, that really hurts. That was like some acid water or something. So I wonder, let's see, can I heal myself? Do I need healing yet? Mm, I guess not. So while standing, uh, flick quickly downward to investigate your surroundings. If something's detected, I kind of want to display on your mini map. Okay. Oh, it's like a sonar scan. So that little gem indicates uh, buried minerals where you can use to upgrade your suit. Gather enough and you can use it to upgrade tab in the game menu. Okay, so these are the minerals we need to possibly upgrade our suit. Oh, there we are. Let's mine the minerals. Let's see what we get. Can we upgrade anything now? Not yet. Hmm. Yeah, nothing's allowing me to click it yet. And there's a save point right here. Oh, free ammo. Thirteen of them, nice. Uh, there's another mineral around here somewhere. Maybe 
it's a baby? Oh, maybe. Okay. Let's head up there real quick. Oh, too much ice. Yep. And again, you want to tap, you want to hold down to the button to mine. I'm still not great at controlling this. <laughs> Continue on. Oh no, jellyfish. Hope they don't sting me. Flawless. <laughs> I wonder if there's a memory around here. Yep. And, you know, so far the game is uh, pretty fun. The controls getting takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you're used to it, it's, uh, it's a pretty fun exploration game. You know, the music is calming. You just try to find minerals, and you upgrade your suit. There's a lot of ice. Just try to bounce off of there. It looks like it's not that hard to find minerals to harvest. And here we have a uh, mineral weaponry. I was trying to see if there was a way to. Restore the shields. Hmm, the thing is pointing upward, maybe we have to go up. Let's look at the safe one first. You know, so we'll save in slot one. So it's kind of like an old-fashioned saving system, you know, you have to save in slots and stuff like that. So it's more indicative of like a single-player game. Uh, nothing over here. Awaken the beast in the back there. <laughs> oh no, that hurts. So climb up. Oh, you float easier with the uh, with the air bubble around you. Makes sense. Did I completely go the wrong way? Well, this is telling me to go upwards. Is there like a bigger map? I don't know, but it looks like we might need to replenish some cupcakes. But there's no way to replenish them though.
Maybe, maybe this will replenish it. This is what it did last time. Said where to go. Oh, standing, standing on the air thing, you replenishes the things. Yeah, the jets. No, the air, just the air bubbles on the floor. Arrow's pointing upwards, but like I'm not seeing anywhere to go up here. down in the lake to get hurt. Maybe there's something down there. Uh, I don't think so. Yep, that was not the way to go. Hey, we got an achievement from it. I guess that was not the way to go. Hmm. And it's not like there's any... Oh, there is an upgrade we could do. Okay. Oh, there we go. So we had to... I'm guessing the red water is uh, hot water. So we had to upgrade our heat resistance to jump down maybe. Let's see here. We just... Oh, okay, so the red water is just is just an indication marker of uh Yeah. So we so in order to go to the next spot we just had to upgrade. down and see if there's anything catches our eye. Awesome. So here's the big map. Let's we'll go around and see where we've been and I'm assuming this yellow thing is where we need to go. So hmm. So maybe this will be a good time to stop and uh give us a th our thoughts about this game. Um you know, if you play games like uh Terraria or you know, maybe even a little bit of Minecraft where it's just like mainly about exploration. Mm -hmm. This one's more about, you know, exploration and building, but you know, you can see you, the whole point of the game is to go deeper and deeper into the depths. Mm -hmm. And you want to, you know, explore every little nook and cranny, look for materials to upgrade your suit, 
and upgrade your abilities. And it looks over here, you know, get riches because it looks like you found a lot of treasure in this one. And you know, it's a really the calming. The music is really calming, and you can just play while laying in bed or you know, anything. This is a pretty good. Uh, well, get another. Mm -hmm, air thing, nice. So we could go even higher. Nice. So yeah, this is a pretty good dungeon dive. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, again, this is Into the Depth. Uh, it's an Apple Arcade exclusive, so you need, do need an Apple Arcade subscription to play it. But, you know, app, there's a lot of good games on Apple Arcade right now, so it might be worth the $5 a month to play games like this. And. Because the Apple Arcade game, there's no ads and or anything like that, so it's just a full-fledged game for you to play. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing about it. Mm-hmm. And I will probably continue to uh, play this while, you know, just laying in bed or something. Just play a little bit of exploration every night and see how far you can get with it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, join us next time on Gaming Lettuce Tomato. Alright, see you guys next time.